Hey YouTube people. So last night we were doing a live stream about the Surface Go 2. And the intent was to show off the throttling characteristics of the device like I normally do. Uh, but as we got further and further into the, the live stream, I realized that there was an issue. And the TDP on my Surface Go 2 device appeared to be locked uh, right around 4 watts. And it would not perform above that level. Uh, which caused a bunch of stuttering in 3D applications and uh, generally was not performing at the level that you'd expect. I tried several different things to make the Surface Go 2 work. I reinstalled Windows. That did not work. I also saw another person on the tablet PC forums also had the same issue. But I finally was able to fix the issue by holding down the power button until the Surface Go 2 shut completely off. Um, I think I think that the issue was somewhere with the Microsoft firmware update that came out two or three days ago. Uh, somewhere in the process of updating that firmware, something just was caught up and it would not go higher than four watts. I don't know why. Um, but that hard reset did fix uh, my go-to and it's now functioning properly. So I'm able to get you a video showing the true uh, throttling characteristics of that device and compare it to the Surface Go original. So if you did watch that live stream last night, please disregard any topics and conversation about the performance of the device as we were testing uh, different applications because it's not a valid benchmark. Uh, we'll look at that today. If you are not getting full performance uh, from your Go to uh, try a hard hard power off and see if that fixes the issue for you. It did for me and I'm now boosting normally. I was about ready to return to Microsoft. Uh, in fact, I had I had initiated the return saying, you know, I, this, this is, device is broken. It's not working. I've reinstalled Windows. But uh, anyways, we're going to get into the throttling and the benchmarks uh, compared to the original Surface Go. And we're going to start that now. Okay guys, the first thing we're going to look at is just a straight up uh, throttling test. We're going to hit the GPU as hard as we can and see what happens. Uh, the key place you want to look is this package power watt. Um, Surface Go 2 is on the left and Surface Go is on the right. So I'm going to go ahead and start the GPU stretch test now. Okay, so watch the watts. Uh, the Go is is peaked at 10 watts, while the Go 2 is peaking at almost 13 watts. So you have a little bit more power at peak on the Go 2 versus the original Go. So let's keep an eye on it. We're still at 12 watts on the Go 2, 10 watts on the Go. And now the GoTo is throttled back down to 7.5 watts. So it did throttle back quicker than the original. The original is still at 10 watts on this side of things. And the GoTo has settled in right around 8 watts of power. And the original Go is also at 8 watts of power. So a little bit of discrepancy in how they start pulling back. So if we let these run, um, in my experience, they'll continue to hover around 8 watts and eventually they will pull down into the 7 watt range. Um, now, I had stayed in the live video because I had a malfunctioning unit that the fan was not affecting anything. Um, but let's go ahead and drop that fan onto the back of the Go 2 just for fun to see what it does. Um, but basically, uh, you can see we're at 8 watts. If you keep the fan on it, it will maintain 8 watts indefinitely. Uh, if you take the fan off, it can get hot enough that it, it peters down to, to, you know, 6 and change watts to 7 watts. Uh, so that's where you can actually uh, buffer your performance a little bit by by tapping into that fan, uh, but not a drastic change in things uh, by using the fan itself. So that is how the Surface Go 2 throttles. Uh, let's move into some gaming benchmarks. Let's look at Minecraft. 
Okay, so we're here in uh, Minecraft, and I'm going to show you from the very beginning so you can see it uh, actually load the application, because there's a big difference between the Go and the Go 2 on how fast they load applications. So we're going to hit Play at the same time. And they are set to the same resolution, uh, 1680 by 1050, so that there's no discrepancies uh, because the GoTo does have a higher resolution display, so they're set to the exact same uh, settings. So the GoTo definitely loads quite a bit quicker will be sitting around for a minute. Uh, so these two devices have essentially the same graphics card, uh, 50 more megahertz on the Go 2, uh, supposedly, uh, but the CPU is much stronger on the Go 2, which is really showing here. Um, so we've got 60 frames a second. Uh, the menus cap at 60 frames a second, but they're both set to unlimited. Okay, we're finally in on Minecraft on the original Go, so that's a good performance metric to see in general. So now, we're going to go into single player, and we're actually going to create a new world with exactly the same seed so that the world is exactly the same. And hopefully we can find, so let's go A, 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 B, B, B. And create new world. Now watch how quickly the go the go-to loads. And in fact, when my go-to is uh, malfunctioning and only operating at 4 watts, it still was beating uh, the original go, which was operating at full strength. So look at this, boom. Like it's still at 18% on this side and we're at 100% on the go-to side. Almost four times faster here on the, the go-to. Okay, so I'm going to look at the lay of the land so I can try to get uh, my little guy positioned in the same location on both computers to see what the frame rate looks like in comparison. So we've got this little pool of water here, hopefully it's exactly the same pool of water, looks like it might not be, I might have to look around for it, oh, you know, this is it, we're in the same spot, amazing, all right. So we're gonna give we're gonna give the go to a minute here to catch up. What's going on is it's still loading a lot of the spawn area around, um, and so the graphics card is able to catch up once it's not doing the CPU utilization in the background. You saw that the go to was breaching a hundred frames a second, and now the original go is finally caught up to it. That's because uh, the the CPU operations of this game were finished way quicker on the Go 2 versus the Go. So let's see if we can... It should stay pretty much the same frame rate here um, until we start moving far enough that that we run into new chunks in Minecraft which um, is probably isn't the most valuable thing to be doing but you can see oh yeah we're loading chunks and it slowed down to six frames a second there let's let's run the same route on the go too it did slow down but look how quickly it's catching back up it's now already back up to 60 frames a second and the go just barely finished even though it was there earlier so that's how cpu power can affect you uh even though we're running a, a pretty gpu heavy game so, 
Anyways, let's hop out of Minecraft and let's take a look at the Heaven Benchmark. Okay, so we're going to take a look at Heaven Benchmark, running DirectX 11, low settings, both at 720p. And you'll notice the go-to loads up quite a bit quicker. And it's ready to go. And we're just going to hang out and wait for the original go. And it's now ready. So we're going to benchmark at the same time. So this is an interesting one because um, the Go likes to pull ahead of the Go to in this particular benchmark. And I think the reason for that is because the Go to has such a higher, um, well, such a more powerful CPU versus the GPU, I think the CPU is actually grabbing some of the wattage available from the graphical process unit in this particular benchmark um, but it tends to even out in the end they're just very different uh, right now uh, the go to is actually behind it's at 38 ish frames per second where the goes at 38 point well they're pretty even now they've evened out now keep in mind, I, I mentioned this a few times, but they do use the exact same graphic processing unit. So now at this point, the go-to has pulled ahead just by a tenth of a frame. So basically, they're, they're, I mean, they're, they're pretty neck and neck. But the Go 2 is now ahead by a full frame in average frame rate. About 40 frames versus 38.5 now. The Go 2 is closing in about 41 frames, while the original Go is at 38 frames average.
So there you have it, the go-to 1029 score versus a 944 score on the original Go. Now, I think what's happening is whenever there are CPU intensive uh, sections of this benchmark that kind of pull this down, uh, the, it, it pulls the graphics unit down and then it can go up to where it wants to be. Um, where the go to has the CPU power to kind of push through those those drop frames and look at the minimum and maximum frame rates here we've got an 81.4 maximum versus a 60 and a minimum frame 14.4 versus 11.1 .1. so pretty interesting result and um, just goes to show that the go to can make up even for some GPU discrepancies Sorry, with the same GPU, it can make up more graphical performance just because the CPU is that much stronger. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching my throttling and performance review of the Surface Go 2. And we'll have more Surface Go 2 videos for you coming up soon. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.